Hads, what holiday is coming up? Easter. Yes, Easter's coming up, and we're going to do a really cute little chicken today, huh? Yes. Yes. All right, little girl, we got a bunch of art supplies, don't we? Yes. Yes, what do we have? What is all this stuff? Paper. Yes, we got a bunch of construction paper. We got blue, green, yellow, orange, and white. And then what's this? Glue. Yes, glue sticks. And then we also have some scissors, huh? Mm -hmm. And then we're going to use the Sharpie to, to also draw with, okay? Okay. All right, first step, we're going to draw our egg. Sound like fun? Yeah. Okay, let's move all this stuff out and we'll just get our white. All right, so we have all of our paper pushed off to the side and we're just gonna use white right now. And the first step is we're gonna draw the egg that the Easter chicken is gonna hatch out of, okay? Okay. All right, so watch me. We're gonna start up at the top and we're gonna draw a pretty big eggs. So we're gonna draw a big oval that goes all the way and almost fills our whole paper. I see wobbly. That's all right. It's okay if there's wobbles. <laughs> I'm sure yours is gonna have a little, a few wobbles in it too. <laughs> Good job, Hads. That's wobbles. awesome. Little wobbles, but that's okay. We're just having fun, aren't we? Yes. Yes. Okay, now that we got our egg drawn, we're gonna color it first. We, we're gonna decorate it, okay? And this part will speed up, we'll fast forward. We're just gonna use some oil pastels and make it look really cute. Okay? okay? We're gonna put a pattern on it, spots and zigzags and all kinds of cool stuff. Okay? Okay. All right, let's do it. All right, Hads, you ready to keep going? Yeah. All right, so we got our eggs all colored, and we use oil pastels, but our friends can use anything. They can use crayons, colored pencils, markers, whatever they want to use to color it. Okay, let's cut it out. Should okay. we do that? All right, let's get our scissors, and we'll fast forward this part too, but we're just going to cut out our egg, and we can leave a little bubble border around it if you want. You know what that means? No. That means we could leave a little white spot, or uh, like white border, sorry. A white border around our egg just for fun. Cool? Yeah. All right, let's fast forward right uh, now. Yeah. Good job, Hads. Okay, we're now we're gonna we're gonna move this uh, the scratch paper just off to the side, but we're gonna keep we're gonna use a little bit more of that later. So we want to save it. Now we're going to get our yellow paper. Okay. And what we can do is I have two sheets, but we really only need one. And I'm gonna cut this in half. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we can put our yellow paper on top to make sure that we're not gonna make it bigger, but because we're using half a sheet, we should be okay with making it smaller. We wanna make sure that our chicken fits inside of our egg. Cool? So cool. I'm gonna draw another oval inside like this. And this is gonna be our chicken. Our chick, our baby chick. Can you do that? Yeah. So go ahead. <laughs> Good job, Ads. All right, now let's cut out our baby chicken, okay? Okay. Okay, all right, we got our chicken all cut out. Now we're gonna use the orange. And I'm gonna cut this in half also so that we can share this. Okay, there you go. And we can move the rest of this, we can move our egg off to the side. Or maybe up. And let's keep our chicken right here because we're gonna need it. Okay? Okay. Okay, you got your marker? Yes. All right. Okay, first thing, we're going to make his feet, our little baby chicken's feet. So we're going to do a W, okay? Like that. And we'll do another one right next to it. And those are going to be his toes. Good job. And then we can do a uh, upside down U. Like that. Good job, heads. Okay, now we could do the same thing for his mouth except we could do it sideways and go like this. That's gonna be for his mouth, his beak. Good, I like it. And then we're gonna do another curve like that. All right, okay, let's cut those out.
Okay, now we're going to glue down his feet, our baby chicken's feet. So we'll take the first two. We can put this paper off to the side and the scissors off to the side. Put your chicken right here. And we're going to do his little feet, okay? And it's not oh, a chicken. Oh, yeah, what? And it's not a chicken. It's not a chicken? What is it then? A chick. A chick. My bad. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna glue the top of our feet and then we'll stick them on like that. Now we'll do the same on this one. Just glue the top and then stick it. Perfect, Hads, good job. And then you can do the other one. So tiny. Yes, I like how teeny your little chick's feet are. Because the chick's feet is teeny. <laughs> Chick is, chick's feet is teeny. Yeah, baby chicks are really teeny, aren't they? Uh huh. Yes. So teeny. Like, they're so cute. Yeah. <laughs> All right, okay, now I'm going to do his mouth next, okay? And we can do it off to the side this way or off to the side this way. Maybe we'll do it this way, okay? And I'll just put it off to the side like that. Stick it down. Good job. Okay, now we're going to put a little dot right here for his nostril. <laughs> and then we can do his two eyes. Put them right here. I don't want to do a nostril. Okay, you don't have to do a nostril. <laughs> it's only for special little chicks. And then I'm going to do little eyebrows too. <laughs> oh, and you got some eyelashes. I love it. Hey, now we could also do some wings and we could do some other things. But let's do a little wing. We could do a curved line like this on both sides. And then we'll do a little zigzag that goes back up. I'll do a little fur. And you're going to do a little fur too? Oh, that's perfect. All right, heads, let's keep going, okay? Now we're gonna do the background. So we got our blue paper right here. We'll put that right in front of you and we can move our chicken off to the side. And then we also have our green and I'm gonna cut this in half too for you. We'll line this up at the bottom of your paper like that. We'll line mine up like this and then we can draw a a uh, grassy hill. Here we go. We're going to do a big curved line like that for our grass. And if we don't want, we don't have to draw it that, that steep. We could do it kind of smaller if we want. Now I'm going to cut that out and then we'll glue it down. Good. Okay. Now let's glue down our grass. So we'll flip it over, put the glue on this side. And then we'll stick it down on the blue paper and line it up with the bottom of the paper. Good. You lined it up almost perfect. Oh, actually perfect. All right, Kay, we could just stick our chicken down, but that's not cool. We need to put the egg down first, huh? Yeah. All right, so we got our egg, right? What we're gonna do is we can draw, and if we want, we could use our black, our black uh, oil pastel, or we could just use uh, the scissors without the oil pastel. But I'm gonna draw a line on here so that our art friends know what we're doing. We're gonna put a crack in our egg like this. Cool. And we don't want to do too many zigzags because then it's gonna be hard to cut out. And then we're going to cut along this black line and cut our egg in half so it's cracked open. Okay, now I'm going to do it at the end. And cut it all the way off at the end so it'll come all the way apart. Good job. Okay, now we're going to leave the top up here. We're not going to glue it down quite yet. So you got the bottom first. We'll put the chicken off to the side. You got the bottom. We're gonna glue it like this, but we don't wanna glue the whole thing down. This is the tricky part because we wanna make a pocket so that our East, so that our Easter chick will, can slide in there like that into his egg, okay? So to do that, 
we got our glue stick. We'll flip this over and we're just going to use the edge of our glue stick to do a thin border all the way around. You see that? Mm -hmm. So we don't want to glue, we don't want to glue the top and we don't want to glue the inside of our Easter egg. We just want to glue the outside edge. All right, you go ahead and try that. See if you can get it all glued down. Okay. Uh, the glue sticks that we have are triangle shape, huh? We got these at Target, but uh, usually glue sticks are round, and all you have to do is just make the glue come out a little bit further, and you will have a nice edge right there that you can use the corner on. Cool? Even if it's round. Okay, you ready to put it down? Yeah. All right, you put it where you want, and then stick down just the edges. There you go. You're going to smack it, huh? Good job. We'll make sure those are pressed down nice and hard. And look at that. It's a little pocket to put our Easter chick in. Is that cute? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got to do the top. We want to line it back up, huh? So that his, the top of the egg will be back on there, right? All right, so we're going to make a little hinge with this scratch piece of paper. So we're going to cut a little rectangle like this. Can you do that with your paper? All right, so we got a little rectangle, right? We're going to fold it in half. And we could use blue paper if we want, but we don't have any scratch blue paper, so we're going to use white. Fold it in half like that. Okay. And then we're going to get our glue stick, and we're going to glue this side. Okay, glue one side. Good. And then we're going to take the top of our Easter egg, and we're going to flip it over. And we've done this before on a bunch of our cutouts, huh? It's fun, making yes. little things that hide. And we'll put this at the very top of our, the egg. So let's put a little more glue on that. There we go. Okay, and then stick it right at the top. And then you want to make sure that it's turned like this so that the folded part is up at the top, up here, okay? Go ahead and stick it down. Move it up a little bit. There you go. Smack it. <laughs> Good job. All right, kid. Oops. Now we're going to get the glue stick again, and then we're going to glue this side of the hinge, this side of the little flap. Okay? We don't want to glue any of the egg, just that rectangle flap. Good. Okay, let's move your chicken out of the way. And then we're going to line up the cracked part of our egg like that. And then we're going to stick the top down with that glue. Line it up. There you go. And then go ahead and let it fall down. And then push right there where the heart is. Good. Okay, now that should stay, right? And watch yeah. this. It'll flip up like that. And if we want, it would be a little easier if I put the hinge closer to the top and then it would stay up. But there we go. Look at that. Does yours open up? Let's see. Yes. Good job. All right. Let's stick our chicken back in there. So we'll open it up and then slide our little chicken in. <laughs> oh, his toes are getting stuck. They would like that. And then we close it up. <laughs> Good job. Now he can go to sleep. <laughs> He's in his home. <laughs> should we put little clouds around? We should decorate the background some more. Let's do some clouds up here and we can do some little flowers in the grass. Cool? Cool. All right. Had you did such a beautiful job on your background. Give me five. What was your favorite part? The egg. The egg. That was my favorite part too. I had a lot of fun. And you know what? I really like that our eggs look different. Yeah? Yeah. What's the most important thing when we're doing art? Having fun. Yes, having fun. You know what? And I really like that our chicken's asleep in there. Oh, no, he's awake. And yours is pretty too. Oh, you like, you think mine's pretty? Thank you, Heads. <laughs> That's pretty cool that he comes out, huh? Yeah. In his little pocket. He can go back in there when he when he's tired and wants to go to sleep, huh? We'll put him back in there because it's time to go to bed. Good night, chicken. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> we hope you guys had fun drawing and following along with us. And we hope you guys have an awesome Easter. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye.